Hi everyone, I'm Roshana and I'd like to share with you today a beautiful message that I received. I will read the message to you and then I will share with you where this great wisdom came from. This is about all of creation and humanity changing and the shift that we're going through at this time. Humanity is in a stage in its evolution where you are on the cusp of major change, a magical time when all that has been shifts into a new level of being, a new way of creating what is. And now you will see that much of what you have held onto will be lost. Many will mourn that loss, and yet, in its place, will be a new system of being that will deeply honor the Creator. You will deeply honor the spiritual aspect of who you are. Part of this transition is also a deep appreciation of the feminine and what women bring into this world. It has been a hard world for too long. As the world softens with the feminine perspective, there will be much less wounding in your childhood years. It will take generations for this to come about, but this is where you are headed. This is the new direction. With this new feminine perspective on the earth, much will change. You will have a new appreciation for the water. You will understand the divine connection between you and all the elements. There will be spirit in your lives, which will arise from appreciation. There will be a stillness in the way you exist that will allow a deep connection with the divine within you. From there, all of creation is possible. And what you will create will be so much more beautiful than what is currently created in this world. There will be no war. The mere thought of it will be folly. How could war exist in a world full of love and compassion? Does it seem impossible? It is not. It is just that you cannot be see beyond your current reality to imagine it. Some of you can, though. Some of you can. You are the way-showers, the gatekeepers, who lead the masses back to the light. For those of you who can and choose to see this possibility, you will be the ones who begin the creation. It will not be as difficult as it has been in the past, for all of humanity is shifting. All of humanity is slowly awakening to the truth of love. Have compassion for those who cannot see it. Send them your love so they may find their way. And this beautiful message came from a being that has sent me so much love, I've been moved to tears. And that being is a tree. And it came to me very much as a surprise as I sat at the base of this tree one day that was on a trail near my home and felt an invitation into conversation. As someone who channels the higher beings of light, it wasn't a surprise to me that this may be there. But I know for many people, it may come as something that is hard to grasp that we could communicate with a tree. And knowing that, I asked this tree, who calls herself Henrietta, how she could have such wisdom to share as I just read to you. And she told me that the trees, the oversoul of trees, goes into the quantum field where all wisdom is held and retrieves the wisdom there. And for beings that are sensitive such as myself, we can receive that wisdom as well. It's available to all of humanity, but we've forgotten that we can do this. And so these conversations are gathered into a book that I call Conversations with a Tree. And it is full of such wisdom as this and beautiful, loving blessings of inspiration that have come through Henrietta and another tree that calls itself George. And so I invite you to check the link below. You can pre-order the book or come June 21st, 2014, the summer solstice when I launch the book, you'll be able to purchase it, purchase it on Amazon.ca or Amazon.com. 
And as well, for people who pre-order, you can receive a 15% discount. You will receive a 15% discount. And as well, 10% of all the profits from the book are going to go to supporting our environment through planting trees, different organizations that support the environment. So this book is also being used to help bring the earth back to a greater state of health and to help awaken the awareness within all of us that we're not as disconnected from the natural world as we think we are. And when we find our way back, we're actually finding our way back to our own spirit, to our own souls, and to a better state of health and being. And all of this you can learn more about in the book. So I invite you to click through to the link below and to please share this video with anyone you think may be interested in such work. And I thank you for being present and I'm going to be posting lots of videos leading up to the launch of the book, so keep watching for more wisdom from the trees.